to Animal News, though. Some animal lovers say they are getting ripped off after being duped into pet leasing agreements. In some cases, lenders are threatening to take the pets away from their owners. Auditors News reporter Natasha Brown has a warning for consumers and some useful information if you're in the market for a new pet. We fell in love. Fell in love with them. It's easy to see how Danielle Cittadino and her family came to adore their golden retriever, Max. The dog is a part of my family. Um, it's... He's not going anywhere, my Max. Max cost $1,500 at shake -a paw in Lynbrook, New York. Danielle says she didn't have the money to pay for the dog up front, so she was offered a financing option. The couple filled out a lengthy contract from WAG's lending. Danielle says they ran her credit and she was approved. But in reality, she was actually leasing the dog from the company that touts affordable leasing for pet lovers. I had no idea it was a lease. They tell me... You know, I hear a financing, it's a loan. Danielle says for the past 23 months, she's been making timely payments of $145.19 a month. But she was shocked to learn she would have to make a final lease payment of more than twice that amount. Or she says the company has threatened to repossess her beloved dog, Max. It's wrong. You can't rip a dog out of somebody's family that's been a part of their family for two plus years. Consumer rights attorneys say it sounds like a case of buyer beware. It really sounds like a scare tactic to me that, that they're, you know, phrasing it as a lease and saying that they have a right of repossession if you don't make uh, full and timely payments. The Citadino family is holding on tightly to Max and say the lovable golden retriever isn't going anywhere. I'm sorry, but you're not getting the dog back, nor are you getting this last payment. I just... It's a scam. To me, I believe it's a scam. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News.